Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Forgotten Weapons. I'm Ian McCollum, and this is Uli Wiegand. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, Uli Wiegand, perfect. Oh, I'm Absolutely. getting a little better at various languages. Anyway, uh, Uli owns and runs uh, Interordnance, aka Royal Tiger Imports, and uh, has been importing a whole bunch of guns from Ethiopia. And we have here a crate of guns from Ethiopia, and I figured it'd be cool to show you guys, like, what actually comes into the country. So this is uh, hot off the truck from the freight depot from the airport where it was flown in by Ethiopian Air, right? That's correct. Ethiopian Airlines straight from the warehouses where I packed it actually two weeks ago and it just arrived a couple of days ago here. And uh, let's break it open, show you guys what's in it. So what do we have in here? Uh, there should be some Mannlichers in it, some M95s, and there should be also some m 1888 in it. Okay. So I've already taken out all the screws except the ones on this side. This crate has about 200 rifles in it. If I can figure out how to use a screwdriver. And now. Well, I'll get you a crowbar. Oh, we need the crowbar. Or a clean rock. Hold on. There you go. I missed, ah, I missed the screw. That's the issue. So it should pop open now. There's something incredibly satisfying and cool about using a crowbar to open a crate of guns. All right. There we go. You got it? Yeah. You want to see inside? Come and look inside. So that is uh, the very careful very deliberate uh, padded packing that was done by the warehouse. Uh, so now it's a matter of, we're gonna pull these all out and put them on pallets. I should say, I make this sound like, like this is my deal. This isn't my deal, I'm here because there were some crates of French rifles that came in and I really wanted to get a close look at those. And I am told that amongst all of these Monlickers, because they're all made by Steyr, is a Steyr Kropacek French Navy rifle. So that's what I'm looking for in here. Let's and I think you will be very successful finding it right yeah. here. That's, that does look like the one. And I can maybe even get it. Ah, so that is a Steyr model of, and take a look at that up close right there. It's a model of 1878. French Navy uh, rifle, they contracted to uh, with Steyr to manufacture these. So they, did, they bought a commercial rifle that was being sold by Steyr. Um, this is what replaced the Chassepot in French Navy service. You can see over here, we have an 1881 manufacture date. So this is an antique, which is pretty cool. Uh, it is matching. We've got our serial number right down there. They made 25,000 of these. They're all A prefix. So this is 23,000 and change. This is towards the very end of production. And it is interesting to note that it has a pair of sets of Ethiopian markings, either Amharic or Giz. There are a number of different written uh, languages that are used in Ethiopia. So this is just an example of how this cache of guns that Uli has been bringing out of Ethiopia literally has a little bit of everything in it. So Mausers, Steyrs, Carcanos, Enfields, American stuff, M1 Carbines, uh, M1 Garands, um, what else? You, you, you name yeah, it. It's, and it's in, this shipment, in this shipment, we got in Berthiers, Lebels, and uh, you're the expert. You looked at all the different <laughs> stuff. So, and, you know, I, I don't know much about French stuff. So I'm so glad that Ian Kembe and, and educated me about the French guns. But... You know, in this shipment, there is so much stuff. So, and some Enfield jungle carbines, number five Mark ones. Again, Lebels, Berthiers, German Nazi Mauders, um, Mannlichers 88s, Mannlichers 95s, various Carcanos, Vetterlis, 
and so on and so forth. So we're going to list all these guns in the next coming days on our website. But we just wanted to, to let you know how it looks when we open a crate together. Yeah. All right. So let's pull these out. And then we can probably give people a view of what they look like all, Perfect. all stacked up on a pallet. Sounds good. All right. Let's get going. All right. And now they are all out of the crate and the beginning of sorted. So uh, we have M95 long rifles there, which are the bulk. I think that's 100. And then we have M88 patterns. And so there are some 88s which have the original sight graduations and also 8890s which have updated sight graduations for the more modern M90 cartridge that they used. So that, of course, is that big old pattern. These are distinctive because you've got this visible gap between the trigger guard and the magazine well, and they have this big sort of triangular looking rear sight. And then there was also like, it looks like 13 of the M88 actions that were updated to a flat style of ladder sight, very much like the M95s would use. And I'm gonna go out on a limb. If I remember my mom liquors correctly, that's the M90. Hopefully I got that right. Otherwise it will be embarrassing. But uh, that is pretty much what comes out of one of these crates from Ethiopia. So. Uh, I do want to point out I don't actually have any stake in this. This isn't my import, but when Uli mentioned to me crates of French rifles, I couldn't help but show up here to take a look because I really wanted to see what came out of those crates of French rifles. And so uh, you can get my interest apparently by having 199 Steyr Monlikers with one French rifle mixed in. So, anyway, uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool for you guys to see what was actually coming out. Um, this will get cleaned up a bit and then eventually transformed into a product available for sale. So hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the little brief look. Thanks for watching.